took that down over a meter we had a good start on this part the concrete's really thick there so it's a bit less digging at least so we've got a plan anyway most of our hard cores out now One. Oh. I forgot to do all this. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a long while. It's been about a month for me. Yeah. We probably haven't filmed for a good three weeks, probably longer. The job we've been on was a pointing job in the middle of November. And it's pointless, filming pointless jobs, because nobody likes pointing jobs. Because <laughs> nobody likes watching pointing jobs. Anyway, we're on a new job. Uh, Neil's been already. That's... Um, wizard joinery. Yeah, wizard joinery. <laughs> Quite our new standard for uh, extensions now. An old one comes down, then we put we put a new one up. Yeah, and hope it's not reinforced concrete in the foundation. We've, we've done about three of these now, so Neil's took down most of it. It looks like he's took down some of the walls too. So our plan is to just fill the rest of that skip, really. And I then, think it's just going to be get the brickwork down to foundation and take the slab up and then leave it because we're not going to be here for a while after this. This is just a fill-in day while it's not raining. Uh, we've got a couple of lintels to do in Crosby tomorrow, so that's an inside job. So I hope it rains tomorrow. <laughs> I hope it doesn't rain today. It's just it's a bit spread out at the moment because obviously, because the, the, of all the rain, this pointing job set us back quite a bit. About two weeks. Yeah. And the job before that was um, a pointing job plus other work which he didn't want filming. Yeah. So the camera's not been out for a long time. So we're just. Uh, Catching up with some stuff and then getting, getting, just getting back into the system again because... Mm -hmm. Trying to run the bank balance back up again. But hopefully I will get a phone call about my hip. Yeah. Because we're now on December the 15th. Oh, is that what it's due for? No, December the 15th is today. November the 15th. Oh. <laughs> it's not that close to Christmas uh, yet. No. Yeah. yeah, we're in the middle of November now, and... Me pre-ops run out, so I can't go for an operation now anyway. I have to go and get my pre-op redone, because it, it lasted 12 weeks and it's gone. get loads of messages asking if we've had it done yet, so fingers crossed when you're watching this, I will have had it done, but who knows? Nothing. They keep going on strike, which puts everything back. Yeah. There we go. There's definitely some wall in there. Nice tidy brickwork, that. A lot of snots on the back though. So let's go and have a look. I'm not sure if that's steel or aluminium in there. If that's aluminium, I think we'll be getting that out. Anyway, that's the scrap man, don't get it first. Let's go around and have a look. <clears throat> I think I've got a good match on these bricks. Ip stock, can't remember what they're called, but I think I'm pretty sure they're matched. What have we got? Nice straight run for the barras. I'm going to get a, uh, probably get a grab wagon. Oh, oh straight. Yeah, it's windy. Ow. And I'm round here. Oh, there we go. I'd say it's about 12 by 12 that. Maybe you can hear me because it's windy. I have to get the fluff out. Yeah, so that's coming up. And it's going to go square. I haven't got the drawing yet, but we're coming out square with it, which is always better to build. Let's get the power tools around, let's get cracking. Now here's a bad example of conservatory builds. Well, shitty brickwork for starters. Look at that. <laughs> but, um, they haven't put polished down and concreted it, so there should be a cavity formed if, if it's a cavity wall. Which obviously it was. It looks like it was double face, but that should have a cavity in it, or there should be a cavity tray in it with wheat vents, but obviously not. Nice and tidy, Neil. I see he's took all the lead. <laughs> right, let's go and get some tools and get started.
the other thing I've got to say, the microphones are back. They've been away to get fixed on warranty. Working great because I used them all weekend at the Full of Love of Horror. I've got two hours footage to go through. Alex is um, tucking into the cow biscuits. Thank you, customer. Which are my favourites. Perfect Dunkin' Biscuits. But anyway, there you go. Um, what I want to say is I've had a look at the frames. And the frames are 19 99 so this conservatory is three months older than Alex so that being said I'm pretty certain there's not gonna be any insulation underneath this floor we're not sure yet it's a good old slab it's a, getting on for 150 slab so um we just don't know what's under it yet but that thing absolutely love it it's not a tool we use very often but when it comes in useful it comes in useful it's done all this and that was only on two bars it wasn't even a full battery so we've got the other battery on charge over there and once that comes to full then I'll carry on with that. I don't want to start using it with the par partially charged battery but yeah it's blasting through this, it's, it's, it's a proper good concrete that and it's just blitzing through it. Same old thing, you, as long as you've got an open end it's, it's, it's easy, well it's easy when you've got one of them things. But yeah I think it's going to be the same width but we're going out up to the edge of the flags square to make it into a proper room. I never did like these Victorian conservatories. Horrible to build and you lose a square metre off your, your floor area having the corners cut off. So, so yeah. We'll let this, let this thing have a rest cool down, wait for the battery to come charged and we'll carry on with the perimeter brickwork. And I'm going to get my coffee. And, and get a... Thankfully it's not reinforced. Yeah, not reinforced. Hey, we haven't done the footing yet. Yeah, like I say, conservatories are done to the bare minimum. I'm surprised the concrete's even that thick. But I'm guessing this is going to be maybe one or two coarser of brickwork below ground level and then probably about a foot of concrete, but not very wide. That's how it used to be. Um, conservatories don't fall under regs, so they're not built to regs. They're built as cheap as possible. So, there we are. We only got here at five past nine. Also, you may have noticed on the... Instagram and I'm going to put it on a YouTube post is we uh, went to visit um, the boys from Brockstone. Alex was walking through Ormskirt the other day and got beeped at and frightened to death. And as he looked over, uh, I think it's Matty, was uh, waving at him. So um, I messaged him on Instagram. It turned out he's working just up the road from us. So we popped in and had a visit yesterday, took him some donuts and had a little chat. Of course, it's never chat's never long enough. You always think of other things you wanted to say once you've left, but... Yeah, the busy boys because they're obviously landscapers so they're suffering with the weather as well. So I think anyone who's in building knows October, November has been grim. There we have it. The uh, that, uh, we, we, this is the first proper uh, christening day for that Milwaukee breaker. It's his first full day going at it. Yeah, and uh, very impressed so far. Um, yeah, so this one's got to show you too. Take you can the concrete first. Yeah, you can tell by the concrete. There's no uh, insulation underneath because it's all bumpy. And look how pretty thick that is. But um, some good news. It's all pretty good hardcore under there. And it's not been blinded. It doesn't even look like it's been whacked that. No. No way that's been whacked otherwise it'd be flat. So we can just keep most of that and just uh, put it we're to the side? We're going to put that to one side while we do the dig and reuse it. So there you go, that's uh, we've got some winds there. So uh, we're just um, we're just having a quick tidy up now while the battery's charged. So while, uh, while they charge, like I say, we're just going to get this moved away. We're, um, we're not doing too bad for skate space at the moment. No. Good. Still got a good a good chunk of this in. Good. I reckon. Neil needs a, a lesson how to stack skips, doesn't he? Yeah. He's uh he's not he's, he's not the professional skip, stick skip skip stacker <laughs> I claim to be. That's easy to say. Yeah. Yeah. So um we'll stick you back on time lapse while we move this crap, and it'll, it'll look like we've done something then too. So see you in a minute. Right, 
20 past 12. Let these have a little boost. Let's go a couple bar and a half to go back up. I think it's just uh, it's got a bit hot, so it's had a, it's had a stop for a rest. But it's a fantastic machine, that. You should see the rest of that off this afternoon. We're running out of room in the skip, but we'll just get it broken up anyway, ready for when we come back with um, with Jason. Crappy brickwork. Rubbish pre slab preparation, but over-engineered slab. A six-inch, well, got enough for six-inch slab. Which works out for us, I guess, because it means it's easy to take down. Easy to take down, but the slab's not easy to get up. No. If we didn't have that thing today, we'd really, really struggle. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably end up in hospital using the old breaker. <laughs> yeah, it's no good for the vibration, that. So, um, yeah, we're going to have a quick dinner. Let the batteries catch up and get this blitz this afternoon. And then, away. Well, I've got to come back at half four to see Neil about a job. Whereabouts? Just down the road. So I'll catch you after dinner. You need them tablets in your system. Yeah. Can you just plug the lead in, please, mate? I'm going to plug the phone in. I've just took the black lead out. Hey, you can't plug your phone in. No, I can't. Unless you put your own. It's the same lead. Light. I use the same lead, don't I? Camera lead? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the new iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is an absolutely fantastic camera. But um, the lead's changed, so it's the same cha it's the same lead as the DJI now. So the summer, it's the lightning cable doesn't work anymore. So I'll use the lightning. I use the uh, USB C. USB C. Yeah. So we've got, we've got a nice green battery. It took them how many years to make a uh, cable that works with everybody else? And because the because the European Union made them screwed everybody over who's got the, the lightning cables now so I've had to buy a new charger which you well know Sarah bought me a new charger that costs 24 quid just for the little brick to goes in the wall so yeah that's it we're going to get this blitzed out we're going to get as much as we can in the skip the rest of it is staying there ready to go around there no point piling out on the drive so yeah let's get you set up somewhere convenient and we'll get this last bit, last bit out and we're getting there what time is it Al? Uh, is it? Oh, sorry. Set my <laughs> watch. Uh, quarter past two. Right. Just let's just show them what we're doing. Just as a quick tip, a lot of people know this, but a lot of people won't know it either. We get a, a triangular piece there, mate. Put it next to this, the bar. That big piece, so we can lever off it. Right, put it a bit closer. Right, get your bar in. I'm camera I'm cameraman at the moment. Well you can get into this end if you want. Whatever's the easiest. Get in there. We'll leave it off that. So get some chunk of concrete. That's what it takes. Leave it up. Lift it. Lift it up now. Get it into the in the chair. So that little tiny void there is enough to help the concrete break off. It's actually floating in the air now, so it actually breaks a lot quicker. So um, it's not like wedged in the ground, being pushed into the ground. It's, it's completely open, so it, it breaks off a lot easier. So um, I'll put you on a normal speed for a little bit to show you how it works. This is this is a great piece of kit. This. Hey, I need to get a. Thumbnail as well with this. Uh, on the, uh, in the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna put that somewhere. So it's now hollow underneath.
Guess what? It's raining again. What was the forecast today? Dry. Rain clearing up and then dry for the rest of the day. Well, that to the forecast. You're fired. Good job we're not pointing a building a wall, is it? That was the last one. drop there you go that's just uh it was coming for this little bonus day it's just saved us a full day's work that i've been dying to get have a good go at that thing that's really oh it's, if, you get, if you ever want to get one of them it's worth every penny we were sure we'd have the electric today i mean obviously we need the electric for the charger but um, fantastic it's heavy but it's a brute you need the weight very little, very little vibration on the way. So what will happen is absorb. So you feel very little. So there you go. That's us finished for the day. Not a moment too soon. So it will just pack up and go. Obviously, all what we've done now and tossing that skip. The skip's fallen us. So that's why I've not been taking any more. But that's that much less that uh, needs to be picked up by the grab. We might not even need a grab at this. If if we can leave that concrete in, if the building rigs, if like the inspector is fine with it, we might not even need a need a grab. Well, judge you by the way they've done the slab. I can't say they've done the foundations properly. They did the concrete quite well, just not the rest of it. Yeah. But yeah, well that's something we'll find out when Jason's with us and we start digging. I'm a mini digger. Yeah. So, would you say this is part one of the video gone or? Yeah, so the whole the whole dig. Can't really make a video, just knock some concrete. No. So that's us gone from here for a few days, but for you it'll just be a microsecond. So we'll see you in a few days when Jason's here. Right, we're in. We're not got much on today, so we're getting a bit of loading up done. So just getting all the digging stuff in. Uh, we'll get chuck a couple of barrows in. I'm still not decide whether to get a grab wagon or skips on this job. I need to decide today because if we do we need to skip there tomorrow so um, I mean to get the digger ordered too so we're going to get a, a job finished a bit of cleaning up to do on that get, get paid for that get all the boards from Sarah's garage and get them dropped off at the job and then um, a couple of little jobs to do so yeah we'll then um, get going and you'll probably see us tomorrow on the job yeah, welcome to our lock up AKA Sir and Stuart's garage. So, we're just going to load it with a load of boards and cover the driver as best we can. We should cover most of it up with these. So, um, get, oh, we've got that as well. as we can. So um, we'll get this lot out and then go and see Neil and get some plans.
take three, Thursday the 23rd of November. I'm the back on this job. Uh, I did do the one with the mics, and it's very windy, so yeah, we're back. We've, just, we've got this, most of the slab up. This is the remnants of the slab that we had last that couldn't fit in the skip. So we're just getting that round here first, pulling the screen up and getting all the hardcore out, and then we can start getting the breakers out and start breaking the footing out. After I've ordered the digger that I forgot to order. And we're late. Because I slept in. Well I didn't sleep in, the alarm went off and I fell back asleep. So yeah. Let's get ourselves organised and get cracking. Dad only rang them up about 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago, and they're here, so we've got a digger for the day, thank God. Obviously we, we might not need it as much, but um, what's going on with this? But um, we've got one now to deal with all the clay skimming. So thank you very much for this excellent service, getting it, getting it here last minute within, within half an hour of us calling. What is going on? I'll uh, get you back around digging side and we'll see you in a minute. Do that again with record pressed. Such a professional. Let's do that again. <laughs> Take two. I didn't press record. <laughs> There's the fussing, which is quite deep but not wide enough. We're coming into there with the brickwork and it's 350 wall plus the spread, so we're coming over here with ours. So this has to come out to where it cuts across. That can be staying in, that can stay in. That can stay in, and that can stay in, because we're going. So it's, um, we're going about 450 wider. So our digs come in this side, so we can dig next to this footing, up to here square, and then across here, out to here, where my toe is. That's the dig. So the, the, the uh, projection dig is four meters, 150. And then it's 350 wide for the extra size wall to hit the regs. 150 cavity again. 
Um, so I'm going to jump on the breaker over there and Jason Art's going to carry on getting all the hardcore out of the middle which is good stuff so we're going to recycle it and reuse it only when we put it in we're going to whacker it and put insulation in they never even whack it
my 11.42 update. Oh, not as far as we'd like to have been, but it never goes like it, it never goes like you want it to. Just. So there's there's our stone the original slab. We sat on that. It wasn't even whack at that. That was just chucked in and concrete it open. The concrete was 170 mil at that end, and that thing went through it like a breeze. It's also been going through this concrete with foundation, which is a good 12, 13 inches thick, which is what three, 350, 360 deep. So, as you can see, it was only um, probably about 13 inches wide as well, and it was like a trench with like a big double lamp. So, there you can see what we're doing, we're doing a 360 uh, trench for our 360 wall, we've got a spring inside. Jason's just getting a bit against the wall, obviously you don't want to go too close to the bucket. And um, I'm not sure how far down the house foundation is yet, but we'll see. And as you can see the middle has been taken down 350, see how much has been taken out of that. So it's a ball of hard ball, which we're reusing because it's all good stuff. Um, I've scraped off the clay down to 350, so we've got 150 hard ball going back in there. Um, we'll probably use that stuff around the outside and so we get some MOT for the inside. And then, um, yeah, that's it. So that's our depth we're going to with that. I'm not sure how deep the trench is going yet. I think we'll head up for 825 minimum. 825 minimum. I'm not much use, I'm not going to use the brake and push the wheelbarrows. I can't do deep, I can't. It's just too much. And uh, oh yeah, this is just like, you know. I'm getting my hip done, but not this year. That's official. I've been put on the cancellation list, so if they do get a cancellation, I'll get run up, but I'm not going to hold my breath. One meter, one hundred and twenty to damp. So that's just um, just under a meter. Two. No, it's not. It's just yeah, just under a meter to ground level in it. Two down from damp. So that's the house foundation. This little micro digger struggling with this clay. We're going a meter through this. So we're going to have our dinner now, and the camera charge, and take my tablet so I've, I can have a recharge. So we've got a plan anyway, most of our hardcore is out now. A bit more left to go, but like I say we're not getting rid of that, but it's point of getting rid of it when you can reuse it. So, yeah, that's it.
to you, stay. You look wetter than I feel. Really? I wonder why that is. It's a nice thick hoodie. It's just started absolutely. It's not lashing down heavy, but. Like Peter Case says, that fan rain sucks you through. But I'm just through. It's certainly been raining for like 10 minutes. So, we had a mad dash, packed all the power tools away, we put all the other stuff away, so we're just. Now, yeah, oh yeah, we've, we've took took that down over a metre. We had a good start on this part. The concrete's really thick there, so it's a bit less digging at least. About 15 inches of concrete, so even the big break is struggling with this. Yeah, and um, well, uh, we took a picture on Dad's phone, so we could maybe slip it in there, maybe. But yeah, so, um, you can just about see it from the light. Out now, we'll just throw it back in now. We're going to have to take it out, because we've dug it down. Just transfer it to where it's been dug down, so we're not moving it twice. The stone's yeah. all covered up, because we need that to stay dry. And a bit of a pile of crap to move there, and a bit to take it out there. See you tomorrow.